of a country is reflected in the state of health, education, earnings and quality of life that its citizens lead. Besides government, corporates too have a responsibility in fostering this growth. Corporates that altruistically reach out beyond the acts of manufacturing, selling, profiteering and creating shareholder value to enhance the quality of life that common people lead and live. This is true corporate social responsibility. If today India reports lesser and lesser cases of malaria, if today Shailaja doesn't have to trek miles from her village in remote Diguwa Malkam in search of portable water, if today a 10th standard past Girija can understand the nuances of electronics and educate her children with her earnings, if today the farmers of Petamikta village can cultivate crops without bothering about the rains, and the fact file could go on and on and on. There surely is a big hand behind each of these happenings. The hand of a corporate. Corporates that acknowledge their social responsibility and work towards improving the quality of life of the people, enhancing their socio-economic status and bettering the environment that they live in. The business context has changed. The last 40 years, we've been single-mindedly pursuing shareholder value. Today, it's all about stakeholder value. And one of the most important stakeholders that we have is the society at large. Corporate Social Responsibility, or CSR, is now no more an act of charity or philanthropy, but a statutory commitment and a God-sent opportunity on the part of corporates to participate in the nation-building effort and give back to society in good measure what is due to them thanks to the company's bill 2012 passed in parliament. Something in which we not only fulfill the legal requirement, but also participate in a nation building effort. However, given the huge landscape of India, the enormity of its population, and the innumerable problems people and the environment face every day, it is a case of too little being done for the too many. Can we go beyond these individual companies and foundation? And that's really the answer to the large-scale problems that the society faces on health, education, skills and environment. The Confederation of Indian Industry, or the CII, which has served as a real connect between corporate and society for more than a century now, has tried to sensitize corporates to the critical issues of people that require immediate intervention. The CII has coined the phrase conscious competitiveness to motivate corporates in focusing and investing in public good. Corporate social responsibility is serious business in quite a few companies. It has a vision, clear-cut goals, transparent earmarked funds and a visionary zeal to implement and realize the sought objectives. The CSR model at the Amara Raja group is indeed path-breaking. The group is involved in education, women empowerment, rural development, health and agriculture. The focus is on wholesome or holistic development of a particular rural place, ushering into the rural community all the benefits and the amenities that urban life offers. Same culture, same people, but the thoughts are different, the lifestyles are different, and the way they live is different, their economic conditions are different. The GVK Group's core CSR efforts, besides the adoption of schools in Nellur and the opening of a tennis academy in Hyderabad, has been the pioneering 108 EMRI ambulance services. Free of cost, 9,600 state-of-the-art ambulances ply across different states with trained paramedics. 35% are pregnancy cases, poor people living in smaller places, in villages or slums. Just call 108 and they get the facility. It is totally air-conditioned ambulance. It has got a Medicare in the ambulance itself. The first of its kind model that has been embarked upon on a noble mission. Corporate success has always gone hand in hand with social commitment at the Murugappa Group. It has been at the forefront of eco-conservation, 
public health and education. In the communities where it operates since 1957, it runs four schools, a polytechnic college and four hospitals. It also runs an R&D center for rural development. The Srinivasan Services Trust, the social arm of the TVS group operating in and around AK Padavede in the Tiruvannamalai district of Tamil Nadu. Besides providing infrastructural facilities in schools, emphasis is on improving the quality and standard of education provided to children. Empowering women by forming them into self-help groups has been another success story. Sewage treatment plants employing simple, unique and brilliant indigenous technology have been developed across many remote villages. Valuable work in the tribal areas through skilling of women and empowering them with the power of entrepreneurship is a big achievement on the part of Srinivasan Services Trust. Significant work to improve the health of women in all these villages with the consistent conduct of health camps. A lot of technologies have developed to try and uh, change the manner in which uh, sanitation is done. In healthcare, there is a lot of interesting work going on on using technology to try and bring healthcare at a very low cost. Apollo Hospitals, in partnership with the Saatchi Foundation, focuses its CSR efforts on pediatric cardiac care, especially for underprivileged children. Falling within the ambit of its own expertise, wonderful work has been done here. Gamesa, the windmill giant, has set its benchmark in CSR activities by providing school classrooms with wooden benches, thereby providing students with bare basic infrastructure. Besides, textbooks, notebooks and other school accessories are also provided. Visiting schools and teaching NSS volunteers on how to act in case of an emergency caused by a fire was another effort that Gamesa employees undertook. CSR activity has now converged into a kind of an employee movement which gives them great pleasure and great pride in working for Ganesha and I wish that there are other companies which can do this. A lot of fulfillment and uh, you know pride for any employee to work in a company like this. Amway International's CSR core dictum live, learn, achieve and play focused on children has also found its way to India. In India Amway one by one works on the welfare of the blind by trying to teach them a vocation with the help of braille experts and provision of 14 computer vocational centers. Concentration on all aspects of children's growth has been another highlight of their CSR efforts. Tata Timken's CSR endeavors lies in strengthening the quality of life in communities, rebuilding of habitats destroyed by rains, bolstering the quality of education, giving art the necessary fillip, and taking love and care to the aged. Giving the green idiom a thrust by conserving energy and planting trees is another area of their significant CSR activity. Gati, the supply chain pioneer, while running a government high school in Hyderabad and a middle school at Nagur, Tamil Nadu, have also undertaken rebuilding of homes and work sheds for weavers in flood-stricken Rajauli in Andhra Pradesh. Their CSR focus on the environment has also yielded fruit especially the decarbonization of the environment. These are but a few samples of dedicated, committed and wonderful CSR efforts undertaken by a few companies. The CII has come forth with a new concept that shall streamline and revolutionize CSR activities in the near future. An exchange exclusively for CSR an exchange that in the near future shall facilitate companies who have the funds and the willingness to invest in public good but do not possess the wherewithal or expertise on the one side and the NGOs who have the ideas and implementation skills on the other side to meet, discuss and chart a course of action to constructively implement CSR projects that are significantly beneficial for the public good. The CSR exchange that we are talking about will really link the companies which you want to do social good, who have the funds, who have probably not the ideas and the capacity to invest in the social good and the NGOs and the social sector which has good ideas, which has implementable programs. This however is just the beginning. The beginning of corporates to acknowledge problems of communities that they feed on. The beginning of a new sunrise, a new 
widespread motivation among corporates to give back to community what it deserves.